Hello friends, welcome. Today I'm going to talk about my comfort reads, which also happen to be HSP favorites, which means they are all safe for me and the content warnings are very mild. If you want more information on how I rate my books, what I mean when I say HSP, be sure to check out the video below. Let's get this party started. So here are my top five comfort reads. Coming at number one is The Penderwicks by Jean Birdsall. The whole series of The Penderwicks is probably a big comfort series for me, especially The Penderwicks on Garden Street. I grew up listening to those books on audiobook. There's just something special about these books and they're such a comfort for me and sentimental for me. Um, this series follows a family of four sisters, their dad and hound, their dog. And the, this first book that I'm holding follows them on their adventures at in summer at Arendelle and a Mysterious Boy. This elementary book is has like Little Women vibes and I think it will forever hold a special place for me. Next in line is another childhood favorite and that is Eleven Birthdays by Wendy Mass. I reread this recently and was reminded that it could be a nice HSP friendly book. This elementary middle grade is a Groundhog Day situation that follows Amanda and Leo on their 11th birthday. I also love the rest of the Willow Fall series but I think this one is my favorite. Let me know in the comments if you have read these. Number three is the last of the childhood favorites and this is Princess Academy by Shannon Hale. Shannon Hale's writing is magical and brings a sort of comfort to me. I think this book is a comfort read because I really enjoy the characters and being in the world. It's also less intense than Shane Hale's other books because it's middle grade, so that helps with the HSP scale for sure. For those who don't know, this book follows Mary, who joins the Princess Academy that is founded on her mountain home. At number four, we have any Becky Abertali book. The one I'm holding is Leah on the Offbeat. And all of her books are just cute romances that are always really safe for me. And I just really love her writing and wish I could write like that and I take inspiration from it. Um, and all the content warnings are always very um, not overpowering the theme. Finally, number five is The Voting Booth by Brandy Colbert. The reason I chose this book is as a comfort read and an HSP friendly book is because it's a cute concept and it's a safe read for me. Um, this book is all about these two people who have waited all of their life to vote and when one of them isn't able the other helps them and they get to know each other and um, it talks a lot about voting and it's I just love I just love the concept really enjoyed this book I can't not talk about this book I thought I would give a bonus for HSP friendly books and that is Tokyo Ever After by Ikemo Jean really love this book and was really safe. It follows Izzy who finds out her father is the crown prince of Japan. So fun. That's all I have today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment below. What are your com comfort reads? And as always, please keep my comment section kind and anti-racist. See you in the next video. In the meantime, keep resisting, finding joy, and resting. Goodbye for now.